Good morning. It's me again. We're here to do some amazing art therapy. It, um, this morning I realized that when I come in here and paint and draw and do all this stuff with you guys, we're actually doing some art therapy. We're working with our minds and body and spirit, you know. So today, like last time we talked about memories uh, from when we were little kids or even now memories. Um, the other day I went to the municipal park to the, the Japanese gardens with the ducks and the lotus flowers and it's so peaceful and the koi fish so I sit sometimes and just just sit and just let it go just free my mind you know so today what you're gonna do is the lily pad and, and lotus flower and we're gonna use a method called zenzengas I know that doesn't sound like that's a funny word right so that's a technical term that they use in art therapy for scribbling you know or what we call as kids scribble scratch so this is exactly what you're going to be doing and it's also the idea of mandalas it's a part of the repeating the repetitive repeating repeating of shapes and patterns within circular or square objects so we're going to start with the lotus flower we're using, I always like to use different things, anything I get my hands on to create with, you know. And so today we're going to use watercolor markers, which is watercolors in a marker form. So, and I love them. So, let's reach over here and start this off. So, the lotus flower, this one day, nice colors to start with. I'm trying not to use too much black, okay? And the thing about doing this is never be intimidated by the the, the things that, are, you, that you're using. So freely do this. So nothing has to look a certain way. So with the lotus flower, we have these shapes here. It's like a raindrop with a little curve at the top. And then you repeat that. So you're repeating these patterns. Now let's go this way with it. Let's go this way. That makes it really big. Huh? I look forward to this when we do these things. I'm able to share to you guys to create. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and start flooring in. Like I said, it's almost like when you're a little kid and you color within the lines. Guess what? You don't have to color within the lines. You don't. dark first and then we're gonna go from dark to light okay so I'm also well hopefully I'm supposed to be doing another art showing downtown for Juneteenth and Pride and I'm looking forward to that too. Always follow your dreams, you know what I'm saying? I was looking at those uh, lotuses and the lotus pods and the how those flowers grow are so amazing, you know? And the lotus flower is actually the, uh, the symbolism of a, of a lo lotus flower is the flower of enlightenment. It's almost like a valentine. You know how the valentines look? On the bottom of the valentine. Remember I said scribbling? Like scribbling, huh? 
flowers yesterday at the park and I realized something is here, <laughs> or seemingly here. Sometimes it was hard for me to concentrate. So what I would do is I would pull out or have a little piece of paper where I would scribble. But amazingly enough, after I finished scribbling, I heard everything she just said. It just amazed me. All these things were with the pods as they're getting ready to Expire, and life's end. It becomes a pod with little seedlings. The seedlings look like little chestnuts. So we're gonna make a different shape with this little pad. Let's do that shape.
Count the lever. Thank you. 